the tone, Jim, if you look, the hatred, the, I mean, sometimes, and the hatred and venom coming from his mouth, the hatred coming from other people on your network. Now, I will say this, uh, I watch it, I see it, I'm amazed by it, and I just think you'd be a lot better off, I honestly do. The public gets it, you know. Look, when I go to rallies, they turn around, they start screaming at CNN, they want to throw their placards at CNN, you know. I, I think you would do much better by being different. If I, if go ahead. I just one, one more should I let him have a little bit more? What do you think, Peter? Yeah. This, Peter, should I have a, let him have a little bit more? This, sit down. Sit down. Just, just, because of the, we'll get just because of the attack of fake news and, and uh, attacking our network, I, I just want to ask you, sir. I'm changing you, it from fake news, though. That, doesn't that under Very fake, fake news. I know, but aren't you... Aren't you, aren't you concerned, sir, that you are undermining the people's faith in the First Amendment, freedom of the press, the press in this country, when you call stories you don't like fake news? Why not just say it's a story I don't like? When I do that. Call it fake news, no, I you're do undermining that. confidence no, no. in our news media. Here, here's the thing. Isn't okay, I understand what you And you're right about that, except, see, I know when I should get good and when I should get bad. And sometimes I'll say, wow, that's going to be a great story and I'll get killed. I know what's good and bad. I'd be a pretty good reporter, not as good as you. But I know what's good. I know what's bad. And when they change it and make it really bad, something that should be positive, sometimes something that should be very positive, they'll make okay. They'll even make it negative. So I understand it. So, because I'm there, I know what was said, I know who's saying it, I'm there. So it's very important to me, look, I want to see an honest press. But I started off today by saying that it's so important to the public to get an honest press. The press, the public doesn't believe you people anymore. Now, maybe I had something to do with that. I don't know. But they don't believe you. If you were straight and, and really told it like it is, as Howard Cosell used to say, right? Of course, he had some questions also. But if you were straight, I would be your biggest booster. I would be your biggest fan in the world, including bad stories about me. But if you go, as an example, your CNN, I mean, it's story after story after story is bad. I won. I won. And the other thing, chaos. There's zero chaos. It, we are running. This is a fine-tuned machine. And Reince happens to be doing a good job, but half of his job is putting out lies by the press, you know, I said to him yesterday, they, you know, this whole Russia scam that you guys are building so that you don't talk about the real subject, which is illegal leaks. But I watched him yesterday working so hard to try and get that story proper. And I'm saying, here's my chief of staff, a really good guy, did a phenomenal job at RNC. I mean, he won the election, right? He won the presidency. We got some senators, we got some all over the country. You take a look, he's done a great job. And I said to myself, you know, and I said to somebody that was in there, I said, you take a look at Ryan's. He's working so hard just putting out fires that are fake fires. I mean, they're fake. They're not true. And isn't that a shame? Because he'd rather be working on health care. He'd rather be working on tax reform, Jim. I mean that. I would be your biggest fan in the world if you treated me right now. I sort of understand there's a certain bias, maybe by Jeff or somebody, you know, for whatever, you know, whatever reason. But, and I understand that. But you've got to be at least a little bit fair. And that's why the public sees it. They see it. They see it's not fair. You take a look at some of your shows and you see the bias and the hatred.